So a central tenet of precision medicine is our ability to accurately and comprehensively genotype and phenotype both individuals and the diseases they get. And so we can do this now, for example, with uh, next generation sequencing, we can comprehensively understand the genetics uh, that, uh, for someone's makeup and then also their risk of disease and then ultimately the disease they get. This ability to precisely measure these phenotypes will allow us to change how we think about disease. Disease was mainly symptom-based. Now we're going to understand the molecular underpinnings of disease. That changes the taxonomy of it and that changes how we actually then apply precision medicine. There are currently many applications for precision medicine and I think one of the, uh, the ones that will appear first is pharmacogenomics, the ability to measure a person's germline SNPs and polymorphisms and genetic changes and then apply drugs that will be best for that person. And so uh, we have performed a trial here looking at um, genotypes that affect clopidogrel, which is a drug that uh, thins blood. And in that simple trial of just measuring a single gene, you can predict whether uh, a patient sh should receive clopidogrel or an alternative therapy. One in three people have alterations in their genes that mean they can't take clopidogrel. So this has a major impact. We were one of the first sites to uh, lead the Precision Medicine Initiative, now called All of Us, which is an NIH-funded effort to collect biosamples on a million individuals. Here at Pitt and UPMC, we will collect from 175,000 individuals in Western Pennsylvania, and we will collect their phenotype information, and then also uh, the government will then analyze the samples to get their genotype information.